so we chose to do our project on Florence Nightingale's environmental theory. And this theory has 11 environmental factors that we will discuss in detail later on in this video. First, let's meet our patient, Johnny. Johnny is 16 years old and he loves to go mountain biking. Unfortunately, he was injured in a bike accident and was taken to the hospital for an emergency tibial surgery. Thankfully, his surgery was a success. He is now two days post-op and uses a wheelchair to ambulate. Currently, his vitals are 132 over 87, 93, 98.2, 20, 100% on room air, and 7 out of 10 per pain. So how can we change the environmental factors that we previewed earlier to help Johnny heal and recover faster? Ventilation and warmth. Develop a plan to keep the room airy and free of odor while maintaining the client's body temperature. So in Johnny's case, we would open his window, room door, or use the AC to ventilate his air. Ventilation allows for proper air exchange, removing unwanted odors, and it also helps with infection control. Temperature is also essential to the patient's recovery, so asking Johnny what his preferred setting will contribute to satisfaction, comfort, and a speedy recovery. Lighting. Develop and implement adequate light in the client's room without placing the client in direct light. Nurses need to be aware of the natural and artificial lighting in Johnny's room. This would include opening the blinds when he wakes up, but preventing the sunlight from directly hitting him, and remembering to turn off the lights, especially when he's sleeping. Cleanliness of the area. Keep the room free from dust, dirt, mildew, and dampness. Maintain cleanliness of the area by making sure patient's bedside table is free of clutter. Examples such as taking away empty food trays or any empty cups. Also, monitor the surroundings of the patient's room as there could be gloves, alcohol swabs, wrappers, and more on the ground. Due to Johnny being already in a wheelchair, keeping the room clean can reduce his risk for injury. Health of houses. Assess the surrounding environment for pure air, pure water, drainage, cleanliness, and light. This factor covers previously mentioned interventions such as ensuring proper ventilation and adequate natural light, but also includes making sure that Johnny has a fresh pitcher of water throughout the shift and making sure his restroom is working and will take away all waste products. Noise. Assess the noise level in the client's room and surrounding area. Attempt to keep noise level to a minimum and refrain from whispering outside the door. One study found that the biggest noise problem for patients was chattering from the nurse's station. So as nurses, we should be aware of our voice level and keep unnecessary conversations out of Johnny's room, and this can contribute to his recovery. Bed and bedding. Assess the bed and bedding for dampness, wrinkles, and soiling, and check bed for height. Keep the bed dry, wrinkle-free, and at the lowest height to ensure the client's comfort. Now remember, a clean, comfortable bed means a happy patient. Personal cleanliness. Attempt to keep the client dry and clean at all times. Frequent assessment of the client's skin is needed to maintain adequate skin moisture. This is especially important for Johnny as he will need assistance with ADLs while adjusting to his injury. Also, perform a skin assessment to assure that he does not develop any bed sores. Attempt to stimulate variety in the room and with the client. This can be accomplished with cards, flowers, pictures, books, or puzzles. If Johnny feels bored, offer games that he can play, books to read, or new movies to watch. Chattering hopes and advice. Avoid talking without reason or giving advice that is without fact. Continue to talk to the client as a person and continue to stimulate the client's mind. This can be achieved by assuring Johnny that you will do your best to aid in his recovery and assure him that you are open to hear any of his concerns. Take note of the amount of food and drink ingested by the client at every meal or snack. Continue with the assessment of the diet to include type of food and drink the client likes or dislikes. Attempt to ensure that the client always has some food or drink available that he or she enjoys. Make sure Johnny has a choice of healthy foods that includes grains, protein, vegetables, fruits, and dairy. Observation of the sick. Observe everything about your client. Record all observations. 
Observations should be factual and not merely opinions. Continue to observe the client's surrounding environment and make alterations in the plan of care when needed. Johnny stated earlier that his pain level was a 7 out of 10 and his blood pressure and pulse were higher than normal. So using the environmental theory to alleviate Johnny's pain, we can create a soothing environment by dimming the lights and playing calm music in the background, as well as introduce aromatherapy such as oils and natural fragrances. Hey guys, it's time for the NCLEX question. Who's ready? Awesome, let's go. A 68-year-old woman is diagnosed with thrombocytopenia due to acute lymphocytic leukemia. She is admitted to the hospital for treatment. The nurse should assign the patient a. To a private room so she will not infect other patients and healthcare workers. B. To a private room so she will not be infected by other patients and healthcare workers. C. To a semi private room so she will have stimulation during her hospitalization. Or D. To a semi private room so she will have the opportunity to express her feelings about her illness. Okay guys, the answer is B. The nurse should assign the patient to a private room so she will not be infected by other patients and healthcare workers. The reason is a private room protects the patient from exogenous bacteria and it decreases the risk for developing infection from others due to depressed white blood cell count, which also alters the ability to fight infection. Thank you for watching. I hope you're now all experts on Nightingale's environmental theory. See you next time! I go by the name of CL21. It's been a long time coming, but we're here now. And we're about to set the roof on fire, baby. Uh oh. You better get yours, cause I'm getting mine.